All right, it's time for another quick unboxing. This time I have a very large box. So we're gonna dig right into it. I've actually been looking forward to this one. Uh, mostly because it was not only a good deal, but it was a rather neat looking item. And uh, while it's always worth noting that yes, I am getting a lot of things from Museum Replicas, I'm also getting very good deals on these things, which is why I keep buying them. Now normally I, I, I buy things that I've been keeping an eye on, and when they go on sale I'm excited to go after them. Uh, but periodically, just throw that box over there, uh, there's a really good deal on something that I may not have had on kind of like a wish list or anything. Um, and at the same time, I'm not always entirely aware of what's in uh, the different catalogs out there. Even museum replicas, I'm not entirely aware of their entire catalog. Uh, so when suddenly I see something like what I'm going to unbox here uh, that I'd never seen before, of course, you can see what shape this is in here. Uh, it suddenly piques my interest, and I become very interested in, in getting it. Alright, so as you can tell, it is a, a sword of sorts. It is a standard European design. Let's do what seems to be the, uh, the trademark of these videos whenever I'm doing windless product, which is let's grab the scabbard and then scoff at it because it's not nearly as good as I would want it to be. Although I did have that one that was actually slightly better than I was expecting. Yeah, I already tell I'm taking all this off. This is a pretty mediocre scabbard. Boy, they really got this one wrapped up in a lot of paper and tape here. My goodness. Alright. And of course, they wrap the, uh, the metal bits in a lot of plastic and dab it with a good bit of grease. So that's the scabbard for this sword. It's real basic as usual, so not anything to write home about. However, I do think this sword is rather interesting. And again, I was actually unaware that Windows had this kind of a design as an option. So here we go. And this is a, a long sword, uh, and it's got a triple fuller in it. Now I can tell you right now by holding it that I actually feel like it's a good bit blade heavy. Um, and it's not even really a long sword now holding it, it's more like a hand and a half sword. Um, but I like the design of it, I like the triple fuller. And actually honestly I can't rem remember the name of this sword right off the top of my head. I will throw it down here as text at the bottom. Uh, but yes, it is a... Uh, it's a halfway decent sword. You know, it's got the kind of standard windless construction looking at it, uh, specifically around the hilt components. It's not all that tight. And if I were to kind of, it's probably hard to see, but there's a gap right there between the hilt and the blade. The, uh, the wrapping, the leather wrapping, feels a little bit weird. Um, it's supposed to be real leather, but it, all, it feels very plasticky, so I don't know what to make of that either. But they were selling this for an incredibly good deal, and I figured it was it was worth it just to have uh, a sword that I could uh, just kind of use as a beater, actually. So I figure I will actually sharpen this because it, it doesn't come sharpened in this case. Uh, but I will sharpen it, and I will probably just use it as a beater. I have a couple of windless uh, swords that I, I have sharpened and I've used for just various things like cut tests. I even let uh, people... Uh, borrow some of these swords uh, once they're sharpened to do cut tests if they don't have their own sword they've never done it before uh, so I'm not too worried about them messing it up or hitting something they shouldn't by accident uh, I mean I would be worried about that but if they break the sword then I'm actually slightly less worried yeah overall it's a very very simple sword design it actually in some ways it, it almost looks uh, like a combination of two designs of Lord of the Rings swords. One is the ranger sword that the character of Aragorn has 
uh, throughout most of the first movie. And then the second sword that he gets, which is Norsil, um, it looks like the, the pommel looks a little bit like the Norsil sword and the cross guard and the rest of the sword kind of looks like the ranger sword, which is kind of strange. Uh, but the reason I really wanted this one more than anything was for, for the triple fuller design because I don't actually have a sword that has that design in it. And this was a good cheap way of getting that. Uh, and it's also, I didn't know that Windless had offerings of swords that had the triple fuller design. So I thought it would be kind of interesting just to see. Again, the weight feels a little bit off in the blade. Um, wow. And you can see the balance point is way out here. That's probably a good six and a half inches, maybe. Um, and I think a lot of that actually has to do with just how thick this Ricasso portion of the blade is. So that's a little bit disappointing. I would, I would honestly expect a little bit more from Windless because while they don't make the highest quality swords, they, they do tend to make them at least uh, made well balanced enough and... And this one just doesn't quite seem to be there. So I can kind of understand why this might be an on-sale item. Uh, but you know what? I think the design looks overall pretty good. I'll probably mess around with it some, see if the weight really bothers me that much. Uh, but overall, yeah, um, not too bad of a purchase. Again, I'd have to review it and look at the actual uh, market rate for this sword to really make a decision uh, on how I would actually rate it and score it in an actual review. Uh, but there you go, yet another sword unboxed.